Chuck and Blair were always meant to be endgame, but what if their love story was never a factor on Gossip Girl? What if the writers never allowed Chuck and Blair's love story to build and blossom over the course of six seasons? Chuck definitely slept around whenever he was single, but he also had a handful of serious commitments and noteworthy connections. If Blair wasn't in the picture, who would Chuck have ended up with? As a reminder, Raina Thorpe was one of his serious girlfriends. He shared an extremely intimate night with Jenny Humphrey, and he was prepared to sculpt an entire future with Ava Coupeau after returning from Paris. Raina Thorpe Chuck was super serious about Raina Thorpe on Gossip Girl. Initially, they started off in a friends with benefits situation, but over time their connection evolved into something genuine and romantic. Chuck was so invested in Raina that he set up an elaborately decorated hotel room to share a romantic evening with her. Chuck and Raina saw eye to eye when it came to things like their ambition, business prowess, and financial focus. Everything came crumbling down between them when Raina overheard his disrespectful treatment of Lily Vander Woodson. Jenny Humphrey Chuck and Jenny Humphrey were never in a full-fledged committed relationship, but they did share a night together that was extremely intense and intimate. They turned to each other for emotional support to assuage their loneliness on an evening when they both felt rejected and depressed. If Blair wasn't in the picture at all, who's to say that the erotic night between Jenny and Chuck wouldn't have blossomed into something more down the line? As a reminder, Chuck asked Jenny for her forgiveness over the attempted sexual assault incident that occurred in season one, and Jenny granted him that forgiveness. Chuck also stepped up protectively over Jenny to stop her from getting involved in drug sales with Damien Dalgard. Eva Coupeau Eva Coupeau was a wonderful match for Chuck when he was ready to start a brand new life in Paris under a new name. He wanted to be known as Henry Prince, and he was prepared to abandon his life of wealth and opulence for the opportunity to experience a fresh start. Eva is the one who found him with a bullet wound and nursed him back to health. They fell in love and she genuinely had his best interest at heart. Their relationship fell apart when Blair told Chuck that Eva used to work as a prostitute, along with framing Eva by placing Chuck's passport in her luggage to make it look like Eva was a gold digger. At first, Chuck believed Blair and thought Eva was using him for his money. By the time he realized Eva was an innocent woman who once had to rely on prostitution as a means to an end, it was too late. Eva left him because she felt betrayed that he would believe Blair over her in the first place. So which of these women would have been a good match for Chuck if Blair wasn't an option at all? Truth be told, the only woman who could possibly fill Blair's shoes would be Jenny Humphrey. As far as Raina goes, Chuck broke her trust in a way that can only be described as irreparable based on the trauma she endured with her own father. Dating someone like Chuck would have only continued to cause more emotional trauma to pile onto her shoulders. The end of that relationship was not Chuck's choice, and so therefore Raina is out of the running when it comes to considering a good match for Chuck beyond Blair. When it comes to Eva, Chuck disappointed her beyond belief in a way that was agonizing and painful. She nursed him back to health and poured her heart and soul into him, but it led to a disturbing accusation from him that left her feeling powerless and dejected. It seemed Eva quickly realized that staying in New York City with Chuck would mean she'd be dependent on a man who could switch up on her and change his mind at any given moment since she didn't have any financial backing to stand on. She feared the idea that he could apologize at that moment, yet change his mind and toss her to the streets on a whim. Her choice to flee to Paris makes sense and takes her out of the running. That leaves little Jay as the last potential option to be Chuck's best match if Blair wasn't in the picture beyond the fact that he apologized for the incident in season one, and they shared the intimate moment of Jenny swiping her V-card with him, there are a few other reasons why this pairing actually makes sense. Chuck and Jenny never had a real opportunity to pursue a romantic connection, since Blair was always in the picture. If Blair wasn't around, who knows what could have blossomed? Chuck and Jenny were both always so brooding and darkly intense in their approaches to life. They certainly shared their pensive and sardonic outlooks on life in common, Something else they could relate on if they ever started dating? The fact that they both were constantly butting heads with their fathers. Chuck never got along with his father, Bart Bass. Jenny spent the bulk of Gossip Girl feeling oppressed and controlled by her father, Rufus Humphrey. Last but not least, Blair herself crowned Jenny as the sole biatch in charge when she was about to graduate. Blair trusted Jenny to take over as Queen Bee on campus when the time was right. Blair spent time searching high and low for a successor to take over, and ultimately, she settled on Jenny because she knew Jenny had what it took. 
Who better to fill Blair Waldorf's shoes than Little J since Blair herself acknowledged Jenny's splendor? Who do you think would be the best possible life partner for Chuck if Blair wasn't in the picture? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.